Hey guys, Mark Kanowski, BigBassBros.com. With me today, special guest, Nick Retka, good friend and great fisherman. Today, we just wanted to do a segment and show you guys how we pre-fish and practice for a tournament. Uh, we're out here on Lake Osakis in Minnesota. Uh, this is where our next tournament is. We're just gonna show you guys how we prepare for a tournament, some of the baits we used to start with to start and try to find these fish, um, how we interpret our electronics, our graphs, lake maps, things like that. Um, so we're just going to show you guys how we do it and tell you guys a few tips on how you can prepare for your next tournament. So what do you think, Nick? Let's get going. Let's do it. Alright guys, so we're out here on the water and uh, we're just starting to fish. And I just wanted to go over a few of the baits that we use to start the day off with. Um, right now we're in a spot that we had success with last year in the tournament. And uh, so we're just starting, it's a good place to start. We got our lake map set up um, and we've got, I've got six rods laid out. First off, I'm starting with this frog. It's a good search bait. The water's real dirty here and uh, we're fishing shallow water. It's a good moving bait to have. And uh, my partner Nick here is also, he's fishing with a moving bait as well, swim bait. And uh, we're just trying to locate the fish first. And once we do and we figure out where they're at, we'll slow down and we'll start fishing with a jig or other vertical moving baits. But for right now, I'm fishing with the frog. Uh, also, I have rigged up a spinner bait, a jig, a swim bait like Nick does, uh, a wacky worm, and a flipping stick for flipping this real shallow cover. So we're just gonna keep moving down this bank. A lot of pencil reeds out here. We're gonna continue fishing these until we get bit. Then we'll slow down and dissect the area with slower moving baits, or if they wanna continue hitting the moving baits, we'll just stick with that. So um, hopefully we can connect here soon. Nice fish. Another two pounder. Another two pounder. We're gonna get the big one soon enough. Put her back. We're getting get some something here, we're getting some. All right, so what we figured out, the middle of the expansive reed patches, they're not hanging on the edge. We we nailed them uh, once before on the edge using some topwater frogs, but today they're just right in the middle. Just thickest stuff you can find practically, just flipping anything you can and they're hammering it. They're eating it really good. All right guys, so we've kind of narrowed down the pattern a little bit here. Uh, we started by one of us throwing a moving bait, actually both of us throwing a moving bait, and then I switched to a slower moving bait. We started getting bit on the flipping bait. This is a Berkeley Pit Boss of the Havoc soft plastic line. And uh, we came in here to these thicker reeds and started flipping, and they seem to be right in the middle of the thickest stuff we can find. So now we've both switched over to uh, slower moving, heavier baits so, so we can flip this stuff. Um, so that's how we've kind of refined the pattern and uh, haven't changed color yet, uh, just sticking with the black and blue, so pretty generic, but um, we're going to see if we can't get some bigger fish. Come on, come on, get him up here, get him up here. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Nice fish right there, Mark. Nice fish. On the five inch pit boss, just flipping these heavy, heavy bull rushes. Let it go, lift it up, and he was there. That's a hog right there, guys. Three and a quarter. Real nice fish. We're on to something now. Middle of the rushes, though. Middle right of the, the bull middle rushes. rushes. Yup. Nothing special about it. Exactly. Five inch Berkeley pit boss, baby. We're gonna put him back, see if we can't put together a pattern. 